right, yeah, I know. We're about to go live. About to go live. I got it. I got it. All right. To everybody up in the room that we're going to be live in 40 seconds. Okay. Um, can I get a fresh girl my coffee? Um, Folgers, vanilla cream. Italian sweet cream actually would be best. All right. Script. We got our jokes today. Just ad lib. Okay, I can, I can, I can ad lib. <sighs> Exercise those vocals. Figaro, 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 Figaro. All right, I'm there. I'm there. It's good. I already know about Sally selling her seashells at the seashore, and uh, all that's good. Okay, today we've got our music. Uh, we got our our pastry and our coffee and our candle lit. All right, who to thank? Uh, facts, our list. And uh, we got our marble skits. All right, sounds good. About 20 seconds left until the live show. All right, let's take an actual sip of coffee. Okay. All right, let me get an actual bite of cake before the show starts. And maybe we'll queue up my actual page and see uh, when the show actually goes live, you know, who will be there. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so embarrassing if we started before the cameras. All right, three seconds. Got it. Three, two, one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Marbles. And what a great time for my furnace to kick on. So, anywho, let's see who's out there today in the marble world. Looks like Sharon Dean was first on this morning. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Tammy Lovejoy, Mark Williams, Joanne Pratt, Tim Hyman, Derek Fay, Katie Gween, Scott Cohen, Steve Mertz, Patty Hoover, Lena Dilly, Jeannie Shade. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Dr. Marbles. Dr. Marbles presents Fun with Marbles. It really is fun. With Marbles. Are you having fun? Well, there you have it, Dr. Marbles. All right, does everybody have their cup of coffee this morning? I know Derek and some other people had said that they've been drinking coffee for like four hours. Coffee really does get you going. I won't, I won't explain. <clears throat> get you going. All right. Today we've got Folgers with French Vanilla. Mmm. Today's episode brought to you by Folgers. What's in your cup? If it's not Folgers, you're a horrible person. Folgers. Mmm. Folgers. I get a dollar every time I say Folgers. And your pastry today. Mine is tiramisu and it doesn't have powder on top of it this time so i won't half choke to death mm. what's your pastry does it beat tiramisu and coffee does it coffee and coffee cake says bob thompson that sounds good too and we've got jill brush jill later on today i'm gonna be talking about you we got steve mertz uh, Dan Fumish, Fumish, <clears throat> Dan Fumeister. I did it. Good morning, Dan Fumeister. And Katie's has uh, fresh ground beans here. Mmm. Fudge strip shortbread. That's awesome, Derek. I'm not sure if I know what that is. And do you have your candle lit today? Because today's Saturday, and good Saturday marble morning. And we know what we all do on our weekends, on our days off. We sort marbles. And we have our coffee and our cake and we light a candle. Today, my candle is still Christmas traditions for like five weeks because it's a one gallon candle. And since I know it's about to go out, I also got... Ow, dang it. Warm and happy home. Is your home warm and happy? If it's not, you make it warm and happy. And dash garnet, whatever anybody else does to not do that, then still make it warm and happy. 
Okay, so let's get on with our Marble Day. Let's see, good morning, Paul K. Sherrill and Scott Meyer. Good morning, everybody. Scott Cohen. It's Mert Metz. I'm sorry, Steve Metz. Actually, my furnace guy was Mertz. And that's why I was thinking Mertz. Mertz Heating and Plumbing. Brought to you secondly by Steve Mertz Heating and Plumbing. Who didn't do my heating and plumbing? All right, today we have our music list. We have some other things coming up. We have our marble skit. And something very exciting, drum roll. I need my other kid's iPhone so I can have a sound buzzer. We'll be showing you how to play marbles. Marble knowledge. Without it, where would you be? Where would we be? Where would you be? Where would we be? All right, today's music list, our top five picks is Neil Young, Old Man. Young, old man, take a look at my, I'm a lot like you. Nailed it. <clears throat> Amish Paradise by Weird Al. He, he was he was almost killed by that song Sheesh. man in a shed by Nick Drake are you guys writing these down so you can listen to them these are dr. Marble songs again you can download these on either iTunes or Spotify just look them up under dr. Marble's playlist And Paul Sung, Paul Sung, huh? Paul Simon sings Peace Like a River. Bonus song. Crazy by My Girl Beyonce. And if you ever had to ask her anything and you had to know the truth, you could ask her good friend, Shakira. Her hips never lie. Just a fact. All right. And today we have our national days. Today is National Popcorn Day. And it's National Quark Day. That's it. It's just the two days. Oh, the people at National Days can sometimes drop the ball. Oh. Tammy Lovejoy, Jason Greer is here. He's not fishing or hunting or working this morning. Or maybe you're in a tree stand while you're fishing and working and watching Dr. Marbles. Like you should be. Good morning, Jason and Bobby Thompson. Bobby Hunt is on. Good morning, Bobby. All right, so I would like to say some thank yous to some people who sent in some gifts before we do our marble skit. Are you not entertained? I don't think he said it quite. Gladiator. <clears throat> okay, so Rich Umholtz. Umholtz. I'm not trying to mess it up. I'm just not the sharpest hack in the box. Rich sent some wonderful gifts. Let me show them. I'm just going to kneel here and show them because there's no shame in my game. Oh, and I don't really care what I look like anymore since I'm way in my 40s and married. Is the camera still on? I feel like the camera's not on. Yeah, we'll just go with it. Rich sent this amazing orb. I mean, it's stone or agate or carnelian, carnelian, cornelian or wood or cork since it's cork day he sent a beautiful statue of liberty marble ball and all the gifts that I always sent to dr marbles i display back here and i'm gonna find places for these and for the other people who sent gifts he sent the swamp monster and tweety We'll, we'll let these two hash it out off camera. And this beautiful marble. I don't know if you can see that. 
because I can't see what you're seeing. I probably look so crazy right now. What's that guy doing, Mommy? He's scaring me. Okay. Well, I have that beautiful marble ball. Am I doing good? I think I'm doing good. Huh. Oh, um, Tom O'Connor's here, and he's having grits. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know, Joanne. Heather is cute. She's amazing. She's not going to like me when she finds out what I use for a string on the circle for our how to play marbles. And Jill Brush sent me an amazing handkerchief. Handkerchief. Honker, honkerchief. Let's see if we can get this in there. It's a kid playing with marbles. I'm going to find a good spot for that back there. And also, a wonderful Christmas ornament. It's Marble Champion, 1997. All right, and almost last but not least, Corinne and her husband made this. A Dr. Marbles, I'm going to call them coffins. Because it's mine and I can call it whatever I want. But she made, her and her husband made a Dr. Marbles coffin. Has little magnets that kind of hold the lid closed. And they filled it. I don't want to lean too far forward. They filled it with some amazing marbles. Some Ox Bloods in the top left. Yeah, that's top left. Uh, some Popeyes, a bunch of Acros, just beautiful. And I got some from, let's see. Oh yes, Kathy Shoemaker sent a bunch of extra gifts in this week. I would love to show Kathy's, but Kathy's are outrageous Acro Agate corks. There's the eyelashes. And they can only really be shown in the pictures that people like Derek Fay, Corinne, Kathy, Kevin Roberts, um, people that do those amazing pictures, which apparently are not just an iPhone. And to see the details on those, um, I'll show some later what Kathy sent in for Dr. Marbles. So anyways, who else do we got here this morning? Joseph Mullins says, nice box. All right. Well, let's get on with, do we want to do a marble skit first or how to play marbles? I'll let the first person decide while I have a cup of coffee. We've got how to play marbles and a marble skit. Which one do we do first? Exciting. Uh, all right. We're going to do. How to play marbles. How to play marbles. I've heard a lot of people don't know how to play marbles. So, I've taken it upon myself to teach everybody. Since I really don't know how until about half an hour ago when I looked it up online and had to figure it out myself. I hope the microphone can't pick up what I'm saying. Alright, marbles. First... You can either get a piece of chalk, am I, still in, am I still in focus? Get a piece of chalk or string or shoestring. You can take it out of your wife's boot that's in her closet and then she'll never know until she goes to put on that boot. And then she yells, why'd you take the string out of my boot? And I'm like, what are you talking about, honey? I'm the only person that can take strings out of boots. So. You start by taking a string or a chalk and making a circle. Hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing. Can you see on the, yeah, yeah, you can kind of see. All right, so you make a circle. I know a lot of our veterans grew up playing marbles and there's a bunch of different ways. This is one of the more basic ways. Then you get two to six players. I have to bump my iPad. 
but that one was almost in mint condition. All right, get two to six players, and you put marbles in the circle. Let's get this guy out of here. And you can either put them randomly, or you can make the sign of a plus symbol. Let's go here and here. All right. Now, in order to find out who goes first, you can make a line on, let's call this the north side and the south side. And you and your marble buddy or buddies take turns flicking your marbles to the opposite line while staying on this side of this line. Whoever's marble comes closest to the line that you made over here on the north side shoots first. You start, and that's called lagging, by the way. Let's see. Um, you start by taking your shooter, and you get to the edge of the circle without going into the circle, and you do what's called knuckling down. You have to excuse the gashes in my hand. I'm a worker man. You knuckle down. I find taking your finger and pinching against your knuckle on your thumb holds it good and you aim for a marble. Don't play this on a table. So after you knock out a marble, there's a couple of different options. Well, you keep count by knocking out all the marbles out of the circle and as soon as they're all gone, whoever has the most marbles win. Play with an odd number, like 13 is pretty common and whoever has 13 marbles or more than the other player at the end wins. You can play keepsies or just for fun. Keepsies is if you knock out the other people's marbles that you really want, you get to keep them. Some people used to go home with lots of marbles. And a lot of those people have wonderful stories from school where they came home with tons of marbles. And they used to smack those little balls of glass against each other that we now today pay hundreds of dollars for, if not thousands. Okay, now marble skit. Good morning, Kent Giant. Um, good morning, Bobby Thompson. Rhonda Altman. Rhonda, you're late. What's up with that? Make sure later you watch it from the beginning, Rhonda. And good morning, Kristen Taylor. Kent. All right, let's get our marble skit on. Mmm, and I want to bite a tiramisu because this marble skit is, is epic. Mmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. tiramisu. All right, so let's get this off the table. Let's get my wife's shoestring, boot string, that I will pay for later. Oh yeah, and for doing the, the game of marbles, Live in front of a live studio audience. All right, and today's marble skit prepared for you by me. Doo -doo -doo. All right, I've actually tried to set this up this morning so it won't be as bad as last week on knocking you guys around. So let's see. I can get this set up a little bit easier. Let's get this right here. I'm gonna go back or forward. There we go. All right, marble seam. We got the roof right there. Maybe we should go higher. That's further back. No, no side peripheral. I hope they can't hear me talking because if they can hear me talking, I would sound so stupid. Okay, this is good. And let's get the Swedish kid right side up. Sure. All right, I thought we would do a nice country kitchen. And who else would be in a country kitchen than your favorite chef? Who do you think my favorite chef is? Well, today 
Let's take a look. All right, let's put this amazing skit back and put this right here. All right, high production, high production on Dr. Marbles. I don't know why I put all the bees and wasp in there or bengal or whatever they are, but I did. All right. Marble Facts. I hope everybody liked this skit. Good morning, Rick Ballard. Let's see who else uh, just joined recently. Patty Hoover is now on. Cindy Crager. Christy Ringsletter is all up and watching this morning. I thought today for our Marble Facts, we would talk about slags. Slag marbles. Oops, I hardly knew her. Slag marble. Slag marble. All right. Let's, let's look at and talk about some common slags and some MFC Christensen slags. Why well, shouldn't it just MFC? MF Christensen. Well, let's just say it like that because I know what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to take you guys on a tour of some marbles that sometimes can be misidentified as perhaps a different type of slag. So, uh, pardon me while I focus in here. Let me get these comments off my screen. Sorry. Yep. I'm professional. All right, try to focus in. The most common MF Christensen & Son Company marbles are the slags. These marbles have a swirling pattern or transparent colored base with opaque white swirls. MF Christensen & Son Company slags are easily identified by the nine pattern on the top pole and the cutoff line on the bottom. These patterns are caused by the twisting motion used in the hand gathering the glass out of the furnace and keeping the glass on the end of the punty as the stream of it was allowed to do a drip into the machine. The marbles are found in blue, green, brown, purple, red, orange, aqua, yellow, and clear. MF Christensen's slags are found in a wide array of shades of each of the colors mentioned. Let's show you some slags that are not MF Christensen. See the little nine there? See the little nine there? Nine, nine. So it's an easy way. And a lot of them you'll see a transitional. Let's see. On the bottom, you'll see uh, a little for drizzle on some of them. I guess a lot of mine don't have a transition. There's one there. 
you'll see that little ponto on the bottom there. They're pretty easily recognizable once you start noticing the MFC slags. And let's bring in some common slags to compare them. Here's some slags that are not MFC. At least I think they're not. Still beautiful, still collectible. But the MFC are the oldest and most of the time the rarest. I prefer the MFC over regular slags. But there's all different types and kinds. So, and let's see, I've got some slags. It's gonna probably be hard to see with the light, so yeah. Oh, there's a CAC slag. And let's see, I probably have a couple other CAC slags. Um, there was a CAC. Well, there's a slag somewhere from CAC on that. We're in the other CAC pile. Well, I will find a CAC slag next time and we'll get a comparison on that. All right, so let's put you back right here so I can see all you wonderful people. Um, I did have some stuff this week that was a bit scary. We had an explosion at the cheese factory in our town. It was horrible. All that was left was the debris. I apologize. Um, I, I don't even know how I feel about it. Someone, someone had stolen my mood ring. I don't know how I feel about it. That was horrible. <clears throat> my wife accused me of being immature. I told her, get out of my fort. Okay, well. Sorry, I'm kind of emotional today. I quit my job at the helium factory yesterday. I just, I just don't like people talking to me in that tone of voice. Well, thank you for being on the show. Renee Shelley's here. I love all you guys, and I appreciate everybody in the marble community. And it's our job to be kind to each other, to love each other, no matter if the person's nice or not so nice sometimes. We ourselves have to look at ourselves and see how to better ourselves and be nice to them. So I urge you, if you're in the marble community, let's keep it great. Let's keep it friendly. Keep showing your pictures. And if you don't like how many pictures somebody keeps showing, don't look at them. Just go by. If you do, comment on them. Give a wow emoji or a heart emoji or even a tear emoji if you really want it. But let's keep sharing information. There's amazing people out there that have amazing information. And part of what they do for our Marble community, if you haven't realized it, is they give information and they help people who are starting off. And the first year, second year, third year, people who are starting to collect and need information and don't have time all the time to read tons of books. So thank you for the people who, uh, Kevin, Derek, Corinne, Kathy, Edna, uh, Kelly, all you people who give your knowledge. I couldn't imagine what would happen to all that knowledge if you guys weren't helping us. So God bless. Thank you from Dr. Marbles. I hope to see you next week. And please add somebody to the Dr. Marbles page. Um, I'd like to get to a thousand. We're going to start uploading some of these on YouTube and uh, see if we can get more people coming together and talking, meeting, trading marbles, talking marbles, and just loving on each other. So God bless everybody. Hope to see you next week and uh, enjoy your week. Bye guys. Love y'all. And I'm going to walk over here like I have a high production show and pick up my own phone and hit the end.